Hi my friends, welcome to this video on using neural network for data analysis. As you all know, data analysis is all about going from data to insights and generally we use various visualization tools such as the bar chart, the scatter plot, the line chart, etc, etc. However, in this video, I'll show you that you can go from data to insights in a very efficient way using neural networks. And neural networks can be a very powerful addition to any data analyst toolbox. I'll be demonstrating this using examples and visuals and there is no complex programming screens. So whatever your profession, you can just sit back, relax and enjoy the video. So friends, let's get started. But before that, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video. In this video, we will make a data analysis on the Titanic dataset. This data set contains information on the passenger details on the ill-fated Titanic. The data set contains information such as the name of the passenger, the sex, the age, the number of parents, number of siblings, the passenger class, embankment port and whether the passenger survived or did not survive. Let us say we want to do some data analysis on the type of passengers who survived and what type of passengers did not survive. And we will use neural network for this data analysis. Neural network algorithms are inspired on how our brain works. You have the input neurons which receive signals such as seeing a ship is sinking. Now these signals are then processed and sent to output neurons which is what our brain decides as an action to take such as a decision to jump off the ship. How the input is translated into output depends upon the intermediate neurons. And this intermediate neurons decides based on various things such as the perception of the situation, the past experience, the emotions and various other factors. So the intermediate neurons, they hold a key on how the input and output are connected. Now here is the brain inspired neural network algorithm applied to our Titanic dataset. Here we have the input neurons which correspond to our input fields. And here you have our output neurons which correspond to whether the passenger survived or not. And in between you have the intermediate neurons. In this visualization there are two intermediate neurons. A blue line indicates a positive signal and a red line indicates a negative signal. Now we see that this neuron is passing a very positive signal towards the output neuron related to the passenger did not survive. So let us peek inside this neuron. And this is how the inside of the neuron looks like. The radar plot is based on input neurons and the signals received from them. A blue means a positive signal received from the input neuron and a red means a negative signal received from the input neuron. So we see a very high negative signal from the input neuron sex female. This indirectly implies that the sex is male. So this neuron is receiving a strong negative signal from the neuron sex female which indirectly implies that the sex is male and sending a very strong positive signal towards the passenger did not survive. This in other words implies that if the sex is male, there is a very high probability that the passenger did not survive. So we have this insight just by looking at one single neural network visualization. Now this replaces at least about six bar plots which would have been required using standard visualization techniques to come to the same conclusion. And it also saves us from manually eyeballing six different visualizations. Now let us take our data analysis to the next level by introducing four intermediate neurons. Let us start by looking inside the neuron 1 1 and this neuron is sending a very strong positive signal towards the neuron that the passenger did not survive. Now let us look inside this neuron. Now we see a very high positive signal for the fare as well as we see a very high positive signal for the passenger class. In Titanic, there were three passenger class, the first class, second class and the third class. So this neuron represents the passengers who paid very high fare as well as they were in the numerically higher class, meaning the third class. As this neuron is sending a strong positive signal towards the neuron related to the passenger did not survive, 
This implies that the passenger who paid higher fare but were in the third class did not survive. Now, this was mainly due to the fact that the third class was located in the lower decks which was first hit by the water. So we feel bad for the passengers who lost their lives as well as fortune. But on the happier note, we got this insight just by looking at one single neural network visualization. Now let us look into the neuron 1, 2, which is sending a strong negative signal towards the neuron survived, which implies that the passenger did not survive. Now looking inside the neuron, we see that this corresponds to the passengers who were male, uh, who did not pay a high fare and who were also less in the age. So this reminds me of Jack from the film Titanic. So let's say this is the Jack neuron. Now let us look into the neuron 13, which is sending a very strong signal towards the neuron survived. And let us look inside this neuron. So this neuron corresponds to the passengers who were female, uh, who paid relatively high fare and who had less age as well as they were traveling uh, in a numerically lower class means the first class. So this corresponds to young female paying high fare traveling first class and who survived. So this reminds me of Rose from the film Titanic. So let's say this is our Rose neuron. The insights what we have obtained here replaces at least 36 combinations of scatter plots and bar plots to come to the same conclusion. So we can say the neural networks are a very efficient way to do the data analysis. So in summary, the classical way of data analysis is good, but involves looking at combinations of various visualizations. Now with neural network, you directly get the insights using a single visualization. You can then make the standard visuals only where it makes sense. Now this will avoid breaking your head and eyes over numerous combinations of visualizations. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment on the video.